Hey, so I've been knitting my zipper sweater by Petite Knit and I am loving the pattern, loving the colour. I've really enjoyed this pattern and I'm very excited to wear it next year because it's coming into summer for me. And I'm just up to the bit where I have to knit around the zip. So the zip sits inside kind of a front and a back. I've got three balls of yarn left almost, two and a half or two and three quarters I think it was. Uh, I guess it's better to have more than less. I've got my 4.5 millimeter needles and we're going to slide the stitches that were on hold from the cast on. It was five on either end. Pop them onto your 4.5 millimeter needles. So what we're knitting is a kind of little flat bit that's going around this V here and back up and the zipper will sit cosily in there. I'm just going to flip the sweater around because when we join the yarn for both of these sides, we're um, joining it away from the edge. So I've just got my working yarn here. And yeah, you can see it's away from the edge and I'll just be curling across. So we want, it's, it's going to be a stockinette stitch and we want the pearls to be kind of touching the pearls on the jumper so the stockinette stitch will be facing us you'll see what I mean in a sec hopefully so I'm just going to flip the sweater around one more time and I'm actually just going to turn the needle which is a lot easier than turning the whole jumper so now I'm going to be knitting across this next row Now that we have an extra row, you can see the pattern a little bit more. You can see the pearls are facing the pearls and the knit stitches of the stockinette are facing us. I'm just turning my needle now so again I don't have to turn my work. And we're going to pearl the next row. So this is row number three. I have to do 38, I think it was. So I'm just going to keep count. Alright, so I'm just going to speed it up just so you can see what it looks like. And then when you've done your 38 rows, we pick up stitches on the other side and join your working yarn from the other, the inner edge, so not the outer edge. And uh, I did pearls for the first row for this one, so for that one I'm going to be knitting across my first row. And when you finish that first row, you don't bind off, you just pop the stitches on a needle or a stitch holder or something like that while you work the second side. And then we're going to be joining them together. So you see I've got both of them there on a needle each. They've both got live stitches. So here I was just chucking them on a needle so they're easy to knit across with the direction I'm going. So the first row says to purl across from where the yarn will be. But I'm just going to knit across because it, it does all end up the same. So I'm knitting across these stitches here. And then I'm just knitting straight across the other stitches. And you can see it's still making that stockinette pattern. So when you've completed these stitches, you'll have the 10 stitches on your needle. And then we do the same thing as before and we just turn it around and purl across those 10 stitches until we've done the length that we need. So I'm just binding off at the moment. I'm binding off on the pearl side because that's where I ended up with my amount of rows. You could be doing the knit side or the pearl side or it will all end up pretty similar. Um, so I'm just slipping those stitches over with the regular bind off technique. And then I'm all done for the, the knitting aspect of this sweater. I'm also just going to weave in the ends of these bits just on the bottom of it. And now we have to actually sew this down to the sweater on the outside, not the inside because the zipper needs to sit in there. And I'm doing that with mohair and a darning needle. I'm sorry if it's not super clear, but what I'm doing is I'm going into one stitch just in the sweater there, a pearl bump, and then a stitch on the edge of the little column we just knitted and pulling that through can be a bit tricky when you're starting off with mohair 
and I'm going to be doing that along the whole way down the bottom and back up. So I'm going into the next curl bump, same column, and going into that edge stitch and pulling that through. So that's all it is. I feel like when I did mine, I did one column a bit closer in than the other one. I probably should have counted how many stitches across I was doing to make it even, but it still worked out really well. Sewing, sewing the zipper in was probably the easier part. I've popped in a few zippers before and this was probably the easiest because of making that column. I've popped a few zippers in between an eye cord before, but I really liked this um, technique. And there it is. Yeah, sorry, I didn't film popping the zipper in. You can see mine's probably not the most even. I actually needed a zipper that was probably five centimetres shorter, but I was really impatient and I was like, I, I, I don't have any at my disposal. So I was like, I'm not waiting. So yeah, a bit impatient, popped it in. But it looks fine on. I'm happy with it. And I hope if you guys are knitting this sweater that you guys are all good as well.